What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, I slept through the Baro spawn animation again. Uh, that's just because I didn't really expect Baro to be bringing much good stuff today. I briefly heard what he's got, but let's just go to a full inventory review as per usual. If you enjoy these types of videos, we do daily Warframe video uploads. I'm also going to have some new build videos I'm working on off stream today. So, yeah, new video tomorrow on builds. Baro is on Mercury Relay, some of the earliest relays in the game. And if I sound sleepy, it's because I just woke up. I'm just trying to wake up here. Uh, so yeah, uh, Baro had a new ephemera last time he was here. It was a pretty, you know, underwhelming ephemera, but at least it was free. Uh, and now I'm expecting like some kind of like glyph or something. I always expect the glyph nowadays. Uh, as you know, Baro doesn't really bring new prime mods. DE has stated they don't want to add too many new prime mods to the game. Because uh, they're trying to be, like, you know, very uh, restrictive of what gets added to the game. And meanwhile, we got 30 crazy incarnates, huh? My latest safari in the void has yielded spectacular finds. Unique items. All right, Baro. Let's see what you got. Uh, this is the new thing. This, uh, this, like, stone on your forehead. During the Orican era, those who bore this symbol inspired both admiration and fear. The jewel that adorned the Scoria, alumni of the Oricon School of Political Assassination, is now yours to wear. Details of the school's ethos can be found in Ash's section of the Lavarian. So it ended up being another Lavarian lore item. It's 500 ducats for this, for this stone you're pressing on your forehead. Uh, and I'm not sure if I even want to buy it, but I, you know, why not? Why not just waste some ducats? It's only 500, right? 500 is actually a lot. So let's do a full inventory review. Uh, that, that's a new item, though. Scoria Diadem. So as far as mods, he's got Prime Reach, Split Flights, and Prime Cleanse Corrupted. Cleanse Corrupted for shotguns. So, uh, yeah, these are pretty good mods. I'd say Prime Reach is a must-have. Split Flights is a fun one that you could try out. It is not a must-have mod at all. Galvanized, uh, galvanized Multi-Shot works just fine. And Prime Cleanse Corrupted is for corrupted enemies and for shotguns. So very specific. Uh, I don't know if I'd really say this is a necessary one either. For all the appearance stuff, here you go. We got the Hydroid Immortal skin. We got uh, Fey Path Ephemera. We got the entire Prisma armor set. So if you think this thing stuff looks good, go ahead and buy it if you'd like to. I actually like this Katir Moa skin a lot. But the thing is, I don't use Moas. So it might look real cool, but it never gets used by me personally. Now we've got the weapons, you got the Holocar Wraith and the Mara Detron, basically just mastery fodder. I actually used to like the Holocar Wraith, but you know, compared to meta weapons, it actually is pretty bad comparatively. And for the final tier stuff, we've got uh, Goose Drag 3 Beacon, farm the Brock or whatever from there. And then we've got some random stuff, some posters and Prex cards. So yeah, pretty terrible borrow, I'd say. Um, let's see if there's anything that was just not on those tabs before I... Uh, Close out of here. So yeah, uh, as far as my my recommendations for purchases this week, if you don't have Prime Reach, get Prime Reach. And then if you don't have these West Mastery Fodder weapons, get those too. That's literally it. This is a bad borrow. Uh, get your two Mastery Fodder weapons. Get your Prime Reach. And then uh, yeah, just you know save your ducats for the rest. Don't I would say don't buy the 550 ducats for this is kind of ridiculously high. Yeah, this this Katir like earring is 500 ducats. This is more than five. This is 550 ducats. It looks like it took away my operator's uh, ninja mask, too, so... I can go back to the ship and take a quick look at it just to see if there's any, like, customization stuff you can mess with, but, yeah. I'll be working on some new videos today, um, off-stream. I will not be streaming today, uh, but I will be back tomorrow. We have new Twitch drops tomorrow, so there'll be, uh, I think, an arc, uh, a uh, amp unlocker and some other cosmetic stuff uh, will be available tomorrow. I'll be I'll try to be live at Twitch drops launch, too. I know I, I like sleeping, and it's like they start at, like, 9 in the morning, so... Yeah, let's see what we got here. So appearance, and I don't even remember the name of what it was. <laughs> I already forgot. Uh, so it's going to be on facial accessories. So you could not use your cool, like, operator mask or whatever during this. And apparently I bought some operator tenogens. So yeah, just like the preview, it does take away your operator mask, but it does look like it has some color customization. Okay, it'll change the color of the eye patch, too. So that's a little bit annoying. So, I mean, if this is worth it to you, go for it. Um, oh, it looks like the... Okay, so the... The eye patch is a separate thing. So you lose your, your, your facial accessory. I don't like that. I don't think I'm going to use it. But hey, now you know. If you want to check that out, um, I'm going to go back to my ninja mask. 
And that's going to be your borrow visit, guys. I hope this video was fun and helpful to you. Uh, like I said, I'll be working on some build videos. I will see you tomorrow. Appreciate all support. All right, guys. Take it easy. Peace.